So what got you started in open source? Well, I've always used the open source tools as a hobbyist programmer. They're easy to get started with, they're free, so I've used PHP, MySQL, and all the related tools, PHP, MyAdmin, and I've been a Linux user for a number of years as well. And I just eventually began to see things and fix them and kind of pushed them upstream. Then I got involved with Joined In, which is an open source project, and now I leave that project. Yeah, so I've actually used Joined In at PHP conferences, and it's a really helpful tool. So can you tell me a little bit more about that? As being the project lead especially, I'm sure you touch all different aspects of the project. It's very interesting, and from a personal point of view, because I'm a speaker and obviously a conference attendee, but I'm also a conference organizer. Uh, Joined In is a tool which allows the attendees to a conference to give feedback to the speakers, and it's public and it's instant. So you just fill in the form and everyone can see that feedback. So speakers know what's working and what's not, and conference organizers know um, which speakers have worked out well, which topics have worked out well. And what I find is in the PHP community, we've raised our standard of speakers because we've got our feedback loop cl closed. But also, as a conference organizer, I can accept a speaker that I may not have seen speak because the community has seen them speak and can vouch for them. So it's really helped the improvement and the mobility of the speakers. And as an open source project, it's really interesting. It's, it's not complicated technology, but it's really fun to work with. Mm -hmm. So do you find at conferences that you get a lot of like, you know, people contributing from the community and like helping make the project better? Yeah, there's a big move at the moment to get more people involved rather than just sitting in the sessions. So most of the PHP communities that I've attended in the last year or 18 months have had a hackathon. So we're always there representing joined in. I mean, whether I'm there or not, we have co we have contributors worldwide. Mm -hmm. So you'll find people, even you know, testing out, trying to help us reproduce some bugs, coming to make some suggestions for changes. We have mobile apps as well as websites, so everyone can get involved. It's been really, yeah, the project's moved on a lot recently, and I really enjoyed that. I'm pleased. So you're an O'Reilly author, and you also have a blog that has a lot of helpful, you know, tips for people who are you know developing with PHP and also Git. Um, so what advice would you have for someone who's getting into PHP development? There might be a beginner and you know, they're kind of looking for you know, advice on how to, how to get started. I think getting started in PHP is really difficult because there really is a lot to know. And we can sometimes be a bit snobbish about, well, this is the right way to do it. Oh, you don't even know that. And I don't think that's fair at all. I think for people, we all started somewhere. You should see my early code. I think if you're learning PHP, you need to be reading. So you need to make sure that you are reading blogs. You don't have to spend a lot of money, but keep up to date with the feeds that are out there, the writers that are writing at your level, and just never get comfortable. Keep on learning. You may not be able to master all of it today, but if you can do something new this month and then maybe a new tool or a new technique next quarter and another one after that, that's how you get to the expert level. Just never, ever settle for good enough. Mm -hmm. So a lot of there's a lot of talk about sort of like a PHP renaissance in the sense that there's a lot of new modern features and so some people who might have been away from PHP development for a little while or they might be using you know more legacy code might not be aware. So what do you think some of the best new features of the language are? There's been quite a lot of changes in PHP in the last probably five or seven years. The biggest change really is that we release much more often. So upgrades are much less painful and we're seeing some good application of really clean features. Once upon a time, PHP's object model was a joke, um, and now it's great. In addition to all the standard object stuff, we also have um, the traits that you'd expect us to see, um, and we have proper namespacing. Everything is set up to express things like design patterns properly in PHP. Um, so we have that. We also have, within the language, we have Web a built-in web server, so built-in application server. Lots of other languages have it. PHP hasn't until now. It's really easy for if you write a PHP app for somebody else to try it out and just run it on their machine. So I think that's a really big um, improvement. The performance has improved enormously, which I think is something we don't always emphasize, but it's a volunteer-developed project, and lots of people invested a lot of time and energy in improving our performance. The ecosystem around PHP is also growing hugely. Over the last five years, there's been an explosion in quality tools, static analysis tools, and improving our process. As a community, we're much better at using other people's tools, so you'll see everybody using Git, some deployment done with Capistrano, some testing done with Node.js. We're really pulling the best of it, but we're also evolving our own tools with things like Composer, which is PHP's new-ish dependency management system. Well, great. Thank you so much for joining me today, Lorna.